when I was younger, I was always kind of raised in a Christian household. So, I mean, I knew about God. I knew about Christ as a kid. Um, my parents, we'd go to church, they'd talk about it. Um, and I guess I kind of would pay attention and go through the motions, you know what I mean? My parents went through a separation for a time period um, when I was in my like preteens, early teens. And at that point, uh, I feel like that's kind of where I felt like there was no God. And, um, and it was kind of scary. As I grew up and got older, uh, I decided to try and find a substance or meaning or any type of joy or happiness out of other things. Once I started uh, using drugs, and alcohol to numb everything out, um, I got far away from Christ pretty quickly. As I got older after high school, um, and I wasn't around my family as much anymore, I, uh, I really, I guess, made the decision at that point to just go down that road. It was really lonely to be honest, um, and frightening at times. I was living in Duluth, Minnesota, my hometown, and um, I was addicted uh, to hard drugs, and doing anything and everything um, to worship those drugs, basically. Um, I was stuck, I couldn't do anything about it, didn't know what to do. I knew I needed help. It was at the point where I had been hospitalized and woke up in a homeless shelter that I knew something needed to change. At that point, I went to a treatment center for addiction. And I, uh, I guess I had a lot of questions. Um, and I really was unsure and I didn't know what to do. I had an amazing counselor uh, who worked with me there and one of the things I voiced to her knowing as, as I grew up as a child is that I knew I needed God again and I didn't know how to find him. I knew that there was, there was an emptiness inside of me that I could never fill. For years I have tried and um, she helped me a lot. She pointed me to the Bible. She pointed me to some literature like The Purpose Driven Life. Um, and uh, she helped me understand what God meant to me as an individual and not just what I saw in my family and growing up as a kid that I never fully accepted for myself. Before I left the treatment center, I got to the point where I believe I was in full surrender. I was ready to give my life to my creator and do his will. Because I had been doing my will for many, many years. And it obviously wasn't working. <laughs> so um, I, uh, I submitted what God wanted in my life and since then he's brought me on an incredible journey. I know for an absolute fact that Christ intervened in my life right around a year ago and <laughs> pulled me from the depths, uh, the darkness, the just void of life existing. He came after me and brought me out of that and saved my life. God is so faithful. I, I have been tested. Uh, there's been a lot of times it hasn't been easy, but man is he faithful and there, there are just blessings abounding. It's amazing what God can do uh, in such a short amount of time. 
I'm so blessed.